Hey YouTube, Tom here. Thought I better check in with you guys before y'all thought I bailed on you. I had uh, hadn't really been on YouTube much this weekend. I went on a few times, made some comments, but uh, for the most part, been kind of a busy weekend. Oh, but yeah, I was trying to get on here yesterday and just wasn't going to happen. My wife stayed home from work to hang out since she was gone all last week. For housekeeping, smoking my uh, Don Carlos uh, Rusticated Dublin. And when I bought this pipe, I had intended it to be uh, strictly for uh, Latakia blends. And uh, that's what I'm smoking it today is one of my favorites, which is the uh, Captain Earl's 10 Russians. I think I probably reviewed this one before. I don't remember. I actually had to go back, <laughs> go back through my notes and see if I did. I, uh, but I, I mainly use this pipe a lot of times for Penzance and uh, oh, Pirate Cake, Ten Russians. I think that's a few of the the well-known Lata, uh, Latakia blends. Um. This is a, uh, got some notes I made on it. Of course, this is from Cornell and Deal. And uh, it's a fire cured uh, crumble cake. And it breaks up real nice. Um, burns, it actually burns really cool. I was really surprised at how cool it burns. It's got a, um, does have a uh, Latakia in it. It has cavit, uh, Cavendish, which I do not, I don't pick up any of that. Latakia. <laughs> I know I said it twice. Uh, Virginia tobaccos, which you get a little bit of sweetness. Well, the tin note has a little bit of a, almost like a berry aroma to it. It's almost like raspberry for some reason. And then I get that smoky, it's a good um, smoky, I'd say like sweet and smoky, kind of like a, almost barbecue uh, is what I, what I get from it. It does have some oriental in it and uh man it's just a a medium oh sorry about that i'm all over the place yeah medium to full body real smooth though and uh yeah it's just it's just one of my favorites that i that i go to i haven't smoked it in a while because i've been going through some other rot other tobaccos in my rotation and uh just was in the mood for it today. I had uh, some sinus issues over the weekend. I guess with everything blooming now, uh, it's aller allergy season here in Nashville. So I went to, uh, I had my, well, let's see. Wife came home Friday and my granddaughter, which is not even one yet, spent the night with us. First time we've had a sleepover with one of the grandchildren. And that was fun. Um, Except for, I guess from about 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., it was pure hell. And uh, she just threw a fit nonstop. We tried everything. We put her in the car and drove around everything. Needless to say, since we're grandparents, we're kind of out of practice with, with having little children, so. But she woke up. Sunday morning just in the best mood. I, I videotaped her, but I put it on my personal YouTube channel. I didn't think you guys would want, want to watch baby videos and hear me make a fool out of myself with baby talk and stuff. I uh, also saw a couple of your reviews on the uh, movie um, The Hunger Games. I wanted to get my two cents on that. I had actually, I've read all three books and enjoyed them immensely. And we went and saw the movie Saturday morning. And then we went and saw it again Monday. Um, that's how much I liked it. Um, so I know if you, I, while I was watching it though, I was thinking if you read the books, you would like the movie. I was thinking if you was a person that was just watching the movie, you're either going to love it or hate it. And, uh, but the critics gave it great reviews. So. Uh, I really enjoyed it though. I uh, very rarely I'll watch a movie more than once unless it's just something that maybe I watch once a year. Like I have to watch The Patriot every year, <laughs> and uh, there's a few others. You know, Tombstone, Gladiator. Just a, a handful of. There's probably like ten movies I'll watch more than once, and uh, 
but the Hunger Games was good enough to get me to go to the theater twice, which is, like I said, to spend the money to go to the theater two times in a row. It's saying a lot for me. Now, don't go see it on my account if you don't like, um, you know, post-apocalyptic type movies or violence, which the violence wasn't bad, and it wasn't a lot of a love story. A lot of people got a little irritated thinking they don't want to see a love story because they think of uh, movies like um, Twilight, which I hate. And uh, what they don't realize is the, the love scenes were necessary um, as far as her liking the guy. The guy at the beginning of the, of the movie, and I'm not going to give too much of the plot away, but the guy at the beginning of the movie is, is the guy she's interested in. The young guy that she got sent to the Hunger Games with, um, you have, they had to get stuff uh, from, uh, it's because it's, 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 uh, it's televised, so you have to uh, win the audience. And one of the things that she realized she had to do was act like they were in love to, to save them both. So it was a really good movie. If it's something you think you might not like, just wait for DVD. I mean, it's... I'd hate for one of y'all go to the theater and then get back on here tomorrow and slam at me because I like the movie like that. <laughs> but I just wanted to check in. I had, a, I had some notes, some other stuff I wanted to do for a video, but... Um, just where I hadn't got around to doing it. I've been kind of busy getting caught up on some web projects that I'm working on. I uh, wrapped some of those up to this morning, so I was able to do a quick video. Um, but I you know, just wanted to pop in and give you guys my impression of the movie and uh, give you a little quick heads up on what happened to me over the weekend, which is not a lot. Uh, it's funny being a grandparent, and it's not what I thought it would be as far as... Uh, I guess just they're still infants. Uh, my, my grandson is one, and my granddaughter is only like six months old. So it's they're not that age yet where they they recognize you. My grandson does. He's pretty cool. Um, but you know, when you babysit an infant, they're it's just pretty much diapers and uh, bottles and screaming. So a lot of screaming. But it was it was good. It was good. We we really enjoyed it. That's the first time we got to do that. I'm going to do some yard work tomorrow, and since one of my favorite cigars to smoke is uh, Candela's, I enjoy those with the, the, the aroma of fresh cut grass for some reason. It's just a green, I think. I don't know. It's just something about it. It just tastes better to me. Um, so I'll probably get a, a review on that because it was from a little... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Candela that I normally don't smoke. Actually, it's one I haven't smoked yet. So I'm kind of excited to do that. I almost smoked it yesterday, and then I remembered I had told one of you that I would do a review. I do not know why I can't keep a slip. And I didn't pack it tight, so. Well, that said, I want to wrap this up. So I didn't enjoy, the, enjoy this pipe and uh, just chill out. And I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back on on a daily rotation again, get some videos up again, uh, get them going again, but didn't, didn't bail on you. So I guess some of you might've thought that I went through that process, the, where you just disappear and I'm still here. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this up and finish this pipe and I'll see you guys around on YouTube.